Okay. So there we go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. So France versus German on probably the most standard map in the game. So this is like your typical game in any tournament. Yeah, I think it's a pretty even matchup, right? Um, I think it's fairly German favoured on this patch, on pretty much all patches, to be honest. Yeah. Because their mass is just a lot better than France's. And, well, if France can take it to late Fortress, their composition's better and their eco's probably better as well. But I think you've got to survive German's big Z move view line of death. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, we have a coin start, right? Um, yes. Yes, we do. Yes, so I we do. Both markets from, uh, markets from both players. Yeah, I think also. Because with the small um, coin treasure next to the TCs, you can really have fast um, <clears throat> hunting dogs. Yeah, there's always like a coin treasure in your base on this map. And obviously that makes it so much easier to buy the wood for the house and the market and the hunting dogs. But we have also on this map two really nice uh, food treasure and they are on the red side. 60 food, 80 food. We have the uh, Nat Scout again. It looks like the exact same treasures. Yeah, as, I was uh, going to say the um, 80... Food treasure, what is Aragon going to take? It's the same spot like the games we casted before. Yeah, and he, he creeped that really. Do you say creep or crept that? I think he crept that quite nicely. <laughs> Did I say something? I don't know. Like... Oh god, I'm such a bad caster. <laughs> yeah. Is it leggy? Yeah. Shit. Alright. This is so uh, really sad. I just check some stuff. Me too. Um so your CPU and your um other stuff, everything okay? My CPU is at 50%. Yeah, mine at 30 and my uh, RAM is at 65, so it's everything is fine. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Alright, I'm ready. Um, one second. I just close on background stuff, but uh, okay. it should not matter so much. Uh, yeah, I am ready, but uh, the player not. Oh, it's got a phone call. So, and how is the weather at your place? Um, not as good as Croatia, but yeah, it's kind of shitty here. <laughs> <laughs> There's, uh, the sun's not even out and it's just rainy and windy. Oh uh, wow, I would love that it rains now, it's so warm here. <laughs> Just typical UK, you know. Just shit. <clears throat> so... Well... We see that Blues already have a market and he's going for hunting dogs already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bread as well. Um... I think they, yeah, they both. Oh no, Blue's still chopping for his house, whilst Red's still got 
Uh, he's got all his fills on food, so he, that means he's got all the food and uh, all the wood and coin that he needed to get hunting dogs on the house. And now he's just going to age up. He had um he had the slight advantage in early treasures, I think. And he got forty coin and thirty coin, so he just had to gather five coin, yeah, five wood, and get hunting dogs. So he's at a slight advantage here. Also, I don't. Despite having the native scout, I don't think Blue's got the treasure. Yeah. Oh, I've got 80 food. Okay. Wow, it's really lagging. Still. Maybe it will be fine soon. But it's really sad. Aragon, he have a market, but he don't... Ah, oh, now he have hunting dogs, but it's a bit um, more late. Oh, really? Mm hmm Oh, yeah. that's a big mistake. It's a bit late, I think. It could be yeah. much faster. Yeah, for sure. And I think there might be a treasure contention over this 95 wood if Blue sees it on time. I think Red's going to start it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, Blue's really far away, but when he's now going in this direction for this treasure, then um, he could maybe steal it. I think he could if he went there straight away, but it takes a long time to kill that Guardian, actually. I think he's yeah. going there right now. He is. Oh, this is gonna be close. Well, even when he can't uh, steal the treasure, he could just kill the explorer. Yeah. Please, melee. Yeah, he's oh, it's oh, too late. Oh, that's so sad. Wow, you're so low. <laughs> oh, you're so mean. I was thinking it's your mate you told me. <laughs> Have a look at the decks and um, <clears throat> oh, good idea. I think Ooh, it's shit. standard, oh, but I don't like it. Uh, the German deck that you have the uh, eco card in H4 for the settler wagons because you have only five settler wagons in deck. Yeah, that makes no sense at all. Yeah, why is that there? It's a bit useless. France's deck is actually interesting. He's got um, team early skirms. He's got skirm. He's got wilderness wilderness warfare, which buffs skirms HP and CDB. Yeah. And he's also got four dragoons and not one K coin, so that's also an interesting factor. Uh, they're both poised to build a TP, which is standard. Yeah, it's pretty standard, I think, in this matchup. Yeah. roughly the same time so it's interesting what france is going to do here because they're kind of the ones that dictate pace in this matchup i'd say okay and um they have like many different options in order to like attempt to like do as much damage as possible but age to port just like follow germany up so what I like to do is like start off with Cav and then mix like 20 musks and go get a TP in a house and then age up behind Germany. And usually that works quite well. You also see some sort of Cav pike rushes and maybe just musk semis. I think for boss it's pretty normal in this matchup to go FF, right? Semi FF, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um. He's going rack, so it looks like he's going to musk semi. I think it's decent because uh, Germany is they have the free Uhlans and yeah, it's a good choice. It is, yeah, but the problem is, is with this musk semi that you don't have much mobility yeah. to catch the Uhlan raids, and that can be a big issue. Well, he have a lot of food under his TC, so um, it will be definitely enough to uh, go to. Uh, fortress. Yeah, and I like how they both got explorers in each other's bases scouting exactly what is going on. Yeah. Like, you know, the stables coming up. I think Germany hasn't scouted the racks yet, but you will do soon, probably. Um, I really hope um, Blue gets real HP, because he's obviously got CDBs, which die faster to Ulans than... Um, uh, normal bills because they don't have the melee resist. But it's really sad that Blue he's not. Ah, uh, now he's going stealth mode, but he's so far away. 
<laughs> yeah, I tend to do it sometimes. Like, I put them in stealth and then move them when you should do it the other way around. But I feel like if I don't do that, then I'll just forget about him and then he'll just run in and die. So, yeah. Um, five musks at the perfect time, but they're going in the wrong direction. He just needs to stay under his TC right now. Yeah, he should just stay under TC with five musks and then age up, I think. Um, yeah. Maybe 10 musks, 15 maybe. I'm not up to him. Looks like Aragon's going to build a second TP maybe. No, he's just going to go for treasures. That's also a good decision. Well, British Musketeer have five musks now popping, so he have 10 and uh, Aragon, he's not making any units. Oh, is he going straight up there? Yeah. Yeah, looks like it. Yeah, he have already the resources to age up. Yeah, and he shipped coin as well, so he's aging. I really like that he hasn't seen any Udons come and raid him, so he's going to go push out at least 10 musks and see what he can get done. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, look, he unstealthed him, but then he forgot to stealth him again. This is what I was talking about earlier. Yeah. <laughs> you just forget about it. So, and it seems like the British Musketeer is going to siege this TP here. And... Um... Yeah, that's a good decision. I think so, but um, maybe it's not so good because now Aragon knows that he's out of his base with the units and now he can go for some builds. Yeah. He has only got four U guns, but he hasn't got build HP either, which is a big mistake. He's responding on time. Yeah. And he's also popping out builds, which is good. Yeah. And that, yeah. Good. Also getting the TP. This is a good trade. Idle time for TP. Yeah, it's really good. And he also killed one Yulan. Yeah. And, uh, uh... I hope he ships, like, 1k wood. He's chopping a lot of wood, which I do not like. Yeah. Maybe he wants to go for another TP. I think he's chopping for the stable, actually. Yeah, he didn't ship uh, 700 wood. Yeah, I didn't think he would. This idle time isn't good. Yeah. Well, he might kill a uh, yield on here with the musks. Nope. But I think German's in a fairly good spot. Yes, he lost his TP, but either way, he's still untouched to H3. And now this is where shipments keep rolling in. France yeah. hasn't got a stable. He shipped five goons, I really dislike that. Although he might need it. This German's mass is actually pretty good already, eight minutes. Yeah, and Aragon, he has like uh, eight scums. And yeah. um, I don't know, and if you do a good job and uh, microing his scums pretty well with his uh, musketeers, then... Oh, oh, these goons. No, don't give free kills. Oh, oh no. Oh, good. And he's dead as well. Yeah. Oh, this is really sad. That was so because bad. His uh, skirms and masks, they just in base and he lost just three goons for nothing. I think yeah. uh, Aragon lost one Ulan, but one Ulan for three goons is so much. Especially when that Ulan's most likely free. He, I don't think he's trained any Ulan's this game. Yeah, he hasn't trained a single Ulan probably. Yeah. Oh. And there we have eight skirms, but now with two goons. Uh... <laughs> yeah. It's not so good. I don't like his setup. This build and the setup was just not good. He's trying to outskirm Germany, which is just something you don't want to do. You kind of just want to go like goons and ship falconets, I think, early on. And then you mix cures and skirms later. Yeah. But but, there's no point. Sorry, go ahead. The problem is, I think, for Blue now that he don't have map and he's going to run out of food. He needs to push out yeah. as soon as possible. He really needs to. And uh, now we see also a stable, but uh, there's a 9 Newland shipment. And, uh, well, with so many skills. He's got only 10 mosques in the back as well. Yeah, and they 
very, very edge too. Yeah. This gold mine ran out as well. Yeah. It's gonna be bad. Oh god. Like what he did just doesn't work, I think. Yeah, he's trying to tank with three CDBs, but he's losing them. The Vils haven't even been upgraded yet. Yeah, and the Ulans are H3, so of course they wreck the uh, H2 mask. Yeah, they kind of just wreck everything here. They yeah. just... So good. And we also have the Minutemen pop. Yeah. But yeah, I just... I dislike playing this matchup as France, to be honest. I think it's quite hard for them. But I also think Blue just... Um, this build just didn't work out at all. It just doesn't work. Yeah, so... Um, GG. So game one goes to Aragorn. Aragorn. Uh, let's have a quick look at the graph. Well, the military population kind of says it all. Like oh. how this matchup typically goes. So sad. Sad, sad, sad. And also, uh, Aragon here for uh, better eco. Uh, yeah, Blue was idled as well. Yeah. Out. A lot of the game. Like I said, I don't think uh, Polish Musketeer doesn't know the meta. Um, because he hasn't been playing much at all. Yeah. But I think Aragon played that. He adapted really well. He saw the must semi, so he didn't actually train in the Ulans, which is overall a good decision. Sad, sad, sad. I was thinking it's a bit more close, but I hope the next game will be better. Yeah, I think. I think um it will be like, because uh, he counter picks now, doesn't he? Uh, British Musketeer. So I think this should be this is sh this should in theory should even out the series if he's getting to counter pick. Yeah. Hmm. Um, do you see a game hosted? No, you. Nope. Okay, let's wait. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that uh, Aragon he needs to pick first, right? Yes. Yes. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's full. Need another slot. <clears throat> what is he doing? I don't know. What is she saying? All right, come in. Okay. There you go. And of course, I play oh. pink. <laughs> so the next map is Tassili. Yep. Wait, what did they veto? Oh, never mind. It's already been excluded. Uh, what's their veto? Yeah, they vetoed Bengal and what was the other one? Adrian Dax. Oh, okay. No, 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 not Adri what I told you. Uh, Klondike. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Tassili, I'm interested to see what Aragon picks on this map. Probably Russia. I'm surprised none of them vetoed this map. I think on this map it's really uh, nice to play Russia or at stake. Yeah, I see Russia working. Uh, Aragon's main, civ main civs are like German, Russia and France. So I think I expect a Russia from this, from Aragon on this map. Yeah, Russia is always a good pick on a map with low food and... Uh... Like yeah. a straight map, you have not space on the left or on the right side where you can escape. 
yeah, you can't really gather on the sides. Like some maps, you can like on like maps like Pampas, you can gather on the sides, like and hide your bills a bit and build towers there. But on Tassili, it's quite narrow, so it's easy to zone off the map. So it's quite hard. Okay. Let me have a look. 2.2 a Tassili. Yeah, I have it. Is it A or is it B? I see some maps are already B. Yeah, but I only have the A ones. <laughs> okay. He's got it. Okay, okay. Be on the right in your chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right. So Aragon has locked Russia as expected. Oh, I joined the wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> I was fixing my sound, I was clicking, and then I go in the wrong game. Did you go in the British Musketeer Fanboy Club room? Yes. <laughs> I. <laughs> oh, also, I did not expect this. Me, Otto! Me, Abel's guns. No, I didn't expect, expect it, also because it's pretty hard to uh, make um, stagecoach on this map, but I think it's definitely Otto favored. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I like to play Otto in 1v1. Because they're easy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play ad stack, but they're so hard. Yeah, they're really hard to play. Yeah. It's not something for little girls. <laughs> it's it's oh, only a big voice. Your ping is yellow. Yeah. No, see. You're lagging a bit. Why am I lagging? What the fuck? Oi. There's no reason. Well, you're British, you lag, of course. Dude, you lag. No. You always lag. No, 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 you lie. Alright. Try this again. You ready? Oh! Oh, yes, I'm ready. I need to fix sound fast. <laughs> okay, what? there we go. So, this is the second game of the second chance tournament from the ESOC Spring Championship 2017. And uh, my name is Queen of Destiny, and my co caster is Hazard54321. Hello. So, tell me. What do you think about the map? Um, 
the map. I think obviously it's a really aggressive map due to the low food and the short rush distance. So Russia Otto are really good picks here, smart choices. Um, I feel like Russia can take map control on this map, so that's something they have going for them. And uh, I guess um, it's hard to push out, I guess, sometimes. But Otto, it should be quite easy for them to. Even by going Jan Hussar in H2 or FF or maybe even Jan Abus, but that's probably the worst option. Yeah. Because Strelit Cossacks just so efficient versus that. Um, it's a 200 wood start, which both sips can't really use, I'd say. Russia can't really use it, and also can't really use it either. Yeah, I think it's really good for Otto because it can make directly a TV. Well, you can do that every every game, but if yeah, it's of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. But it also means that his transition TP is going to be much faster as well because he has to gather one hundred less wood. Yeah. And uh, Arvun is taking already a 70 coin treasure. Yeah, that's pretty good. Otto's going to probably scout this treasure, I hope. He's heading in that direction. Oh, this is such a good treasure. Yeah. It's so OP. Yeah. And it's it so looks easy like... to take. You just go melee mode with your explorer and then the... And put on, one hand on dig. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, chair. Uh, look, I'm getting so good with English. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't do You've much. come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Aragon is going to find 70 XP. Yeah, he's going back for it. Yeah. And this he's going to get this treasure uncontested. Which is really nice. Oh, and there's also 60 food treasure when he goes straight for it. It's really, really nice. Yeah. And he has some dead animals under TC and he's not gathering from them. Pretty yeah. Pretty musket here. Yeah. It's a bit sad. Generally, generally it's okay to shoot them underneath the TC, but as like he's probably not used to actually playing Otto, so he expects like having more bills. So he has like gathered... Uh, on these deer, pronghorns. Mm. And yeah, I guess he just doesn't want them to run away. Yeah. And he, I think he crept this treasure without losing a single hit point, so that was nice for him as well. Yeah, this um, pay off with the dead animals on the TC. <laughs> mm. I guess. I guess it's. I guess it's not good on this map because. Um, you don't have much hunt to begin with, so you want to preserve all your hunts. Yeah, exactly. But uh, Otto's uh, aging up now. Yeah, he's chopping wood, so it looks like he might go for a second TP. I also like the fact that he started to herd this and this, because I think Russia will put on the aggression. Yeah. Because Was in an it... FB, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Russia can next to this coin mine in the middle of the map just build his blockhouse and uh, rush. Yeah, exactly. I think um, if in an FB war if both players go forward, I think Russia wins it because better shipments and the shipments can pop out of the blockhouse whilst also shipments pop out of their TC. Yeah. And we see the two forward bills. Yeah, he's going on the other side, what I was saying. <laughs> Yeah, I would have preferred it at this side on this TP. Yeah, because but, then he can siege. Yeah, with the cover, with the cover of the blockhouse fire. But both sides are still good though. Yeah, there we go. Four hundred would age up. Yeah. I think he's going um, rack stable. Artillery foundry. Oh no. No, he should definitely start the rags. Okay, he built boss. I think it's okay in this matchup to have 
uh, Abel's guns and uh, Johnny Sars, but um... <laughs> Johnny Sars. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> that, there's Abel's guns and Janice series. Um... Johnny Sars, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's just my accent. I, I spoke it right. It's just my accent, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. Okay. So and we have 700 coin and of course with the 700 coin he can mass a lot. But I would like that uh, he would have taken the um, XP treasure. Uh, XP treasure? Yeah, Russia. Oh, I see. oh, but look, I did, this is a nice idea. He built the blockhouse next to the TP and so he could go for a stagecoach when he can hold it. Yeah, that's a pretty smart idea actually. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. I, I never He's... seen this uh, before, to be honest. Yeah, it's quite a smart play. And also, he had his explorer right by these two buildings, so he knows that he should start Strelitz versus this composition. And he's going to try and pick off the Abbas guns, but it's too late. And also, the hunt in the corner on the bottom of the map, its um, he can't take it. Yeah, it's being herded away yeah. where it should be. And yeah, he starts Strelitz, which is really smart. Yeah, it's really good. Looks like Otto's going... I think if Otto goes like Jan Abus and then ships three Hus soon, then he could do like a timing push fairly early on. Yeah. So I would have preferred to see Jan Hus off on this ma uh, in this matchup. Because they're both so tanky and have fairly high DPS. Oh, he's going to do like a mini push, I think, which I think is a mistake. Yeah, for this he has also too, much, uh, too many units. It's not enough. I mean, these units are strong for sure, but he just, I don't think this is not the right timing. He's just over eager, I think. Yeah, and maybe he have now some 4 Cossacks or 13 Strelitz pop. 4 Cossacks and 10 Strelitz and he's going to be in a world of trouble. Yes. Yeah, there's four Cossacks, right on the Ab Abus guns as well. Ten, ten more Strelitz, there we go. Oh, thanks, to I was thank you. Yeah, he yeah, was just... I need to uh, watch this uh, in the background. Oh, so. oh it's so sad, he's strong. <gasps> wow, 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 wow. I don't know why he did this. Oh, oh that's just sad. And I was tapped out and fixed my sound. <laughs> oh god, I'm so bad. Good timing. Yeah. Oh, but god. yeah, he sent, sent both crate shipments and they just like, were just wasted, I think. He just wasted these units. He went to it early on. Yeah. <sighs> Like you could, this is like where Rush is strongest, like have like the biggest mass like early on, and Otto's mass is strongest at like eight minutes with like a shit tons of Jans and Abus and it's three cab. So sad. Yeah. Makes me so sad. Oh god. Yeah. Well, I was saying it's a start we'll be close here. Yeah, I thought, I, I don't know, maybe it's just really rusty. I haven't seen him play at all recently. <sighs> oh, that's a shame. So it's a best of five, so it's match point to Aragon. Yeah. But that was not nicely adapted by Aragon. He got the right units at the right time. Hmm. So sad. Yeah, it was. Six minute game, 6.40. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Philip just says, why the fuck do you move the camera out of fights? Yeah, I said already, I'm sorry for this. This was really, really oh, okay. bad. I'm really sorry. I, I just wanted to be nice and to say thank you for the donation to I Was Thank You. And because it's the first time that I keep uh, get, a, um, get a donations and why I'm casting and <clears throat> yeah. So I, I'm, I'm really sorry that uh, I moved out of this fight and then was GG when I come back. <laughs> oh my god. Can you, can you check the donations afterwards? No, I, I now changed my options. On, on my second screen I can see it when someone donates directly on my OBS. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't put it like this and I was like, oh, someone donates, I want to say the name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was so excited. Oh, what is the next map? I've forgotten. Um, it's uh, Pampas. Pampas. So, it looks like British Musketeers going Brits, which is a really wise choice on this map. And Aragon, I think... Actually, I have no idea what he'll play. Versus that. Well, he played... He could go India. I've never smooth. seen him play that sibs like that. Yeah, it's a good choice, but I don't see him playing that. He could also go Aztec, definitely. Yeah, actually, I've seen him play Aztec. Aztec could be good. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a bit tired. It's so hot in Germany, and then I don't sleep so much, and then now it's a bit more cool, cold. Yeah. And then it's much Smoking better, and then I'm bad. getting a bit tired. I guess uh, it's time for some energy drinks or something. <laughs> <laughs> Such a nice, uh, healthy diet you have. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> He picks first, right? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. British Musketeer picks first. Yeah, he's locked Brits, so I think Aragon will go... I'm not sure what Aragon will go. I don't really know a Sith pool. I think it's just France, German, Russia, and then... I don't know what else. Hmm. I'm pretty sure Otto. <laughs> oh, we could do Otto, but there's no TP on this map. Yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, Brit Mirror. <laughs> the most exciting matchup in the game. Okay, I'm AFK. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a great British <laughs> Mirror. I'm so excited! Oh no, they put the wrong map! Oh. Oh, I clicked to. Oh, yeah. Maybe I'm out already. Too late. And uh, yeah. I saw Aragon's. Um, because you I cl then. clicked on, on uh, Cancer. Yeah, so did I. And uh, I saw Aragon's uh, ping was red, yellow. Yeah. Yeah. I said twice that it was Pampas and he still didn't change it. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Are you excited for this musk mirror? Don't pause. Why even pause, man? Yes. Oh, he said you need one minute. Oh, okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> uh, he's hosted. Okay, I'm on the way. I joined in the wrong slot. Me too. <laughs> Alright, come now. Hopefully, we can get like a longer series because these two games have been quite short, I think. So, hopefully, player one could actually uh, pull this back. <sighs> Is this the round of 16? Do you know? Was it this round of This is round of 16, yes. Okay. Thought so. Um, I'll be right back. I'm getting something. Uh, I get to drink, okay? Okay. Why is he cancelled? Wow, 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 I come back and the game is cancelled. Yeah. Um. Let me just rage at him. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should really change my game to <laughs> English. Yeah, I don't know how you do that though. Yeah, it's it's possible. You need to uh, get Steam and then you connect it with Steam and then you can. All right. You could be like, I think if you put your uh, client in English, you could be like the best English speaker ever. And, th and then you could teach me English. You'd be that good. Hello, could you do Pampas? <laughs> no, Pamas. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go. Go, go, go. I'm so excited. British Mirror, go. Hello, everyone. Unselected. Fuck. Shh. Oh, sorry. Oh, Asa. no. There could be children who could watch. It's mature audiences only. 
Of course, there's, yeah, there's some children. Maybe they watch it and they're 13 and now they will go to school and say always this F word. Well, be thankful that I taught them early. Get ahead of the game. So, welcome back to <laughs> the ESOC Spring Championship 2017 and this is the second chance tournament. And uh, we are in game of three, Aragon OP versus British Musketeer. And it's a Britmer, and hopefully, as British Musketeer is called British Musketeer, he should have the better British Musketeer micro. Yeah, and maybe so he also I... ship six Musketeers first. I don't think he knows about that meta, actually. Yeah, maybe he's... Uh, Do you think he's old yeah. meter? Yeah. I think he'll try to. I, I, I have a bad feeling that he'll try to play standard and then Aragon will go six musks and win. Oh, this, because this matchup's so high skill. But. This would be I so really sad. Hope that does, yeah, I really hope that doesn't happen. And it seems like that he don't know the map so well. Or well. Would you go first for the livestock on this map or for the treasures? Um, It's a lifestyle choice. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes there's good treasures um, on the right side. Like there's some type there. Yeah, look, there's a 90 food. There's a 75 wood. What? Uh, what? What is this treasure? To be honest, it's impossible. Three to pirate. Think. Three pirates. I'm pretty that, sure it's bugged. Is that a bug? I swear it's only two. It's what the only fuck? two, and there's three now. <laughs> There's three pirates and only two llamas. Fuck. Oh, look! Uh, in the right corner, in the bottom of the map, we have a 75 wood. Yeah, I said that about 30 seconds ago. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, was, right. I was so um, uh, shocked <laughs> from these three pirates on this treasure. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> But yeah, it's kind of retarded. Three pirates for two llamas. And I think Aragon's got the better scat. But it's interesting that neither of them went for the llamas. And it's Wait. lucky. Oh, wow. Haza? I'm here. Okay. Where well, there's a big. Oh no, he, he buys some oh, wood. Trouble is, I think Aragon's in South America. Yeah, and it's what, what so I was saying, like... he had a yellow, red, ping when I was uh, pushing cancer all the time. <laughs> yeah. Makes me so sad. But it's kind of happened, yeah, it's, it's kind of happened with Aragon just because of a distance thing. And I think most South Americans are just born with red ping. <laughs> this was me. No, I don't think it's a distance. It's just <laughs> that they don't have a so good net, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so freezing now. Oh, oh. my God. Well, I was thinking, I was going to suggest maybe mixing longbows, but in this lag, it just wouldn't be worth it. Oh, wow. It's really hard it's got... for lagging now. Yeah, just got four mosques. Yeah, mosque in leg, good unit. Yes. No point going long bows. And you see Aragon eating a shit ton of llamas to age up as soon as possible. He, he went for the market. They both did. Yeah. And it looks like, I think, Blue had better macro because he's already aging up. Um. Yes, he aged up a bit faster. Yeah. And um, did you watch the decks? They are pretty similar. It's just so different that one have the marks. Wait, they both got land grab and yes. Virginia Company. What? And he's got the Jaegers and he's got Refrigeration. And other than that, it's literally the same deck. That's interesting. Yeah. And um, we see a forward villager from Aragorn. 
Yeah, he's. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's building um, Mana with this will. Yeah, I hope he, he does. Make, with two builds, yeah. the forward rags. Rags. Yeah. That's a really efficient way of doing it. Some people send two builds. I really dislike that. It's just so much wasted gather time. Also, the mana provides a lot of line of sight. I think um, it's really something what kind of level you are. I think under level maybe 27 or 26, you send usually two builds because you're not so good at uh, macro and so fast. You don't have the APM. I send always two builds because I'm too slow. That's why I can see it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you just forget about it. Like, because you need to send that build fairly early on to build the mana, like, as soon as you get there, really. Yeah. It looks like Blue's going to come across these good treasures there, so that's going to be a nice pickup for him. Yeah. I hope he notices, though. Um, Rack's coming down immediately from blue, uh, from Red. Uh, Blue's going... <laughs> He's going stable. <gasps> Wicked Cossack, I hope you're watching. He's going oh 500 God. food as well. This is going to be interesting. I want to cry. I want to see how this plays. <laughs> I think he's just trolling. Yeah. Maybe. Or maybe it's, it could be viable. I'm not even sure. I feel like it's not. But... He should five builds. Oh, he's in the five build cap. Interesting. Three builds, five builds, he does. Yeah. I'm not sure I like that because it's hard to adapt a Rax in. Yeah. About 700 wood. He needs the Raxes immediately. Hmm. <clears throat> 700 wood for Aragorn, so he's not going six musks. And uh, Aragorn has already uh, have now still traps and uh, British Musketeer still only hunting dogs. Yeah, I think with the, if you want to get five cav out, you. Do not get you delay the steel traps for one batch, and then you get the steel traps after your five cab pops out. <laughs> we have a nice batch of two musk. Yeah, boy, he must be going insanely greedy then. Yeah, he's chopping quite. A lot. He had like three bills on wood, and he's just going super greedy, which is the proper response to defensive play. Yeah, and but we have really five cav out from British musketeer, but. I think um they can do a lot of damage I think. Yeah. Five more musks from Aragorn. I hope he makes another batch of cab and raids this side, goes like round the other side, and yeah. then he goes four muskets and then that could be good. Yeah, it I could think... it could now when I see this what he's doing now, it could really work because uh Aragorn he do nothing, he do no damage to him. Yeah, Aragorn's sending all his muskets back, and he's going to get two vills for free here, and yeah. some idle time. There's also a couple of exposed vills over here on this hunt. I think he'll get another one, maybe two. If he, oh no, he'll get one, he should get one. Ooh. Oh, that's a shame. The good thing is he's drawing back all these musketeers, so it means he can go greedy himself. Yeah, and we have... Uh, oh, no... hardcore freeze. Fuck. What? There's a hot, some hardcore lag. Oh no! Yeah. Musks in leg, OB. And here we go, double racks going down. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, I think in the mirror it's always huge when you kill some wizards. Yeah, for sure. But we have to keep in mind that red has full map control. I mean, I think blue should start herding these two hunts here already yeah. by now. Yeah, he don't have so much food anymore in base. In particular, in 1v1, in, in particular, in like, as you're playing Brits, you need to like, always constantly think about where's my next food location, like, so you have to like, always start herding. Like, even if you've got, like, a shit ton of hunts in base, like, if you had all this in base, then, um, you should start herding already. Yeah. And we see now Aragun, he has 19 musk, and so now he's going to pressure him. I hope he pops 10 musks and Minutemen. 
Aragon needs to be really careful here. Yeah. This could be like quite bad. Yeah, he's got his cav on the other side, so it looks like he's trying to trap him. Here comes 10 musts. Minutemen should be popping as well if he's got the resources. Yeah, bring the cab in to tank. Minutemen, please. 600 wood, Minutemen coming out. Oh, this looks not so bad for him now. And this Minutemen are doing so much. Oh, he needs to keep snaring. Whilst the Minutemen are still high HP. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, this is sad. Don't go back. He didn't max yeah, he didn't maximize his units. Yeah, now we see he's out of food. He have only two of these birds in his base. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, needs to watch his musks though. Oh, oh, oh. And he's also housed. Is he? Yeah. Oh, he's got three manas coming up. Yeah, okay. And he's He's working his uh, fourth mana coming down, and he's got this hunt coming in now, so that's good. He's got two hunts there, actually. It's just sad that it's lagging so much. Yeah. Still quite an even game, but we have to bear in mind red's map control, so blue's constantly on a timer. Yeah, but he I should think raid... he, should, he should maybe bring, like, three hus or something and go to raid him. I was literally about to say that, yeah. Like, um... These hussars aren't really doing anything, they're quite fast so they can get back into the fight, so we can literally just send them down the left side and go raid this exposed food location. Yeah. I'm not sure if he scouted it though. Oh, there we have a bench of 10 musts. <clears> hmm, <throat> yeah. I think Red's batch of 10 musks cycle is faster, so we can, like, abuse that. Right, and try and take a fight before Blue's batch of 10 musks come. Yeah, look, here comes uh, Red's batch of 10. And Blue's is going to be like another probably 15 seconds, 10 seconds. So he could really abuse that. But obviously he can't really push in because the TC, uh, the Rax is the stable because they'll pop out units. Yeah. Honestly, he doesn't need to be that aggressive. He should probably just siege this market and go back. Yeah, this would be nice, but I think now he's going to the side and to find the wild. Yeah, but I think he's going to get trapped here. Like, these five halves do tank a lot, and he has sent musk attack. They've both got musk attack. Yeah. And Aragon smartly pulls back. He doesn't want to get trapped in this corner here. It could be really bad. Oh, there's Hussar. No. no. <laughs> oh no 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 no! That wasn't too bad. Yeah. But the scores are fairly even actually, and he is going to go raid with his uh, hussars. Yeah, but the problem is that um, with the stable, oh no, we have some manus going up. I was going to say his house again, but then I see always that he makes some manus. Yeah, I think he's macroing just that. He hasn't got wheels on wood, actually. That's a really big mistake. Back off. Aragon can press this. He knows, like, six cav... Well, he doesn't know that yet, but the six cav aren't actually in the fight. And he's just going to go push this resource location. He's got, like, double the musketeer count. Yeah, but also Aragon, he's losing some woods on top, but... Uh... Yeah, but I think Blue's just going to lose more. Yeah, this is... Oh, oh my god, he's trapping them. Yeah, I think yeah. this is going to spell GG. It's GG. Looks really laggy. Oh yeah. Holy shit. At least he's got Bill HP this game. GG said for the uh, lag. Yeah. And um, this series I, go to Aragon OP. I think I think he's tilted. Did he say GG? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, and we see that Aragon he was always ahead in the military population, and he has also 
more equal. Yeah, I think the cab build is just isn't optimal. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's some outplay potential with raids and stuff and just out APMing your opponent, but he's just going to have more musks and musks and lag are pretty good. Yeah. It's all sad. Yeah. Well, that's so, a shame. So sad. He didn't abuse his cab as well. He didn't, like, send two groups of two cab everywhere. Like, that's the... Uh, the advantage of the build, you can just have like units everywhere and he's got to send musketeers back instead of having them all in one group and just pushing you. Yeah. It's so sad. But even, mm. 